Hi everyone, it's Gina with Dancing Daisy Designs and today we're gonna start a really cool project that's so simple that anybody could do it. So today's project, I'm going to be using some old bottles. Um, I got mine at the thrift store, but you might have something around your house that you recently um, finished off that came in a glass bottle that you can use. Um, you could find these at garage sales as well. And I just have a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. And so I'm gonna be using these for my project. Um, I also have some decoupage paper that I'm gonna use. This is fall cards. And it's just a smaller like 8 by 11 sheet of decoupage and it's got lots of small designs on it which are perfect for this project um, i also have some leftover from last year um, santa postcards um, decoupage paper and these are all different sizes and shapes i think that some of these are going to be perfect for this project and then I'm also going to do a couple using the new um, transfer by IOD, and this one is Fairy Merry Christmas. So first to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my bottles, and I'm going to look at all of my papers and my um, different mediums here, and I'm going to decide what I'm going to use on the bottles. I'm going to cut that out and match them up to my bottles, and then um, we're going to paint the area behind where we're gonna decoupage. The reason you do that with decoupage is because paper, the decoupage paper is kind of see-through. So if you just attach it without having like a light color behind it, it's gonna look kind of trans, a little bit translucent and you're not gonna see as much of the beautiful detail in the paper. So that is the reason for painting behind a decoupaging. We don't need to do that on the transfers. The transfers already have like a solid backing and so no need to do that for the transfer. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna cut out all of my shapes and then we're going to get started with some painting. Okay, I've gotten my bottles and my um, substrate selected here, and I'm just going to show you. Um, it actually, if you tear out for decoupage around the edges and you leave kind of like the um, a torn edge, it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to kind of show you here how to. You just tear it out. I use pinch my fingers together like this, just to kind of keep it tearing exactly where I want it to tear. And so we're just gonna tear this whole piece out. I'm gonna cut, actually. There we go. And then we're just going to tear the edges. And we're gonna have like this torn edge and that's gonna make it a lot easier when we when we actually glue it down it's going to look more natural and beautiful so i'm going to tear that one out and then i wanted to show you for the um the transfers when you cut it out you want to leave the backing on it comes with a a backing on it and that protects it from getting stuck to itself or anything else which would ruin your transfer so leave the backing on until you're ready to apply it so now that we've got all of that ready to go, um, I'm going to take my bottles and I'm going to look at the size of this and I'm just going to paint like a square on here, a little bit larger than the size of my decoupage paper. And so like I said before, it's going to look kind of more translucent once we put our decoupage medium on to glue it down and so having a lighter background makes a big difference and makes it look a lot nicer. All right, I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna be using um, my DIY paint. And this is the color Faded Burlap. But I feel like this kind of matches most of the backgrounds a little bit. And so I feel like this is a perfectly good color to use for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some painter's tape and I'm just gonna kind of use this. You can you could completely, like if you want a really clean look, you could mark off your whole area that you're gonna paint. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this to kind of give myself, like I wanna kind of go up that far. So I'm gonna like, just like a little bit of a guide so I know how far to paint on all four sides. 
So now I know how far I want to paint roughly. I don't want a perfect square. Um, like I said, if you want a perfect square, you can tape off the whole area and you can make it look perfect. So let's get some paint going here. It is gonna take a couple of coats because this is glass and glass is slippery. And so paint and glass are not best friends. So we are gonna to have to do a couple of coats, but this paint is nice and thick. So that's one thing it's got going for it is it's gonna, it's gonna go on a lot faster than a lot of other paint brands would. So I want it to look kind of organic. So right now we're just kind of getting our rough area and let's just get the first coat on so that it can dry. And then it, the next coat will have something to stick to. And it's gonna go on a lot thicker. So there's our first coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my other ones. Um, this one, I actually did not tear the edges of the paper. I just kinda wanted to show you like how it would look if you don't do that. So here's an example of that. All right, I actually grabbed a transfer from another set um, that I'm gonna show you here. It's called Candy Cane Cottage. And this was one of the releases from IOD for this holiday season. And um, this one I have already sold out of. Um, that happens whenever IOD has a holiday release, they're always limited edition and they sell out quick. So you wanna make sure to get yours right away and not wait. This is the Santa Claus that I'm gonna use on this bottle. He just fit perfect on here and so I wanted to use him. What I did is I left the backing on so that I could get him placed centered where I want him. I used a little piece of tape to tape it on and then I'm just gonna lift it up. I'm gonna remove the backing and then I'm going to lay him down and once you get him stuck on there he is committed you don't want to pull him up because you can rip your transfer and completely destroy it and you don't want that to happen this is a rounded surface so make sure that it's nice and good so what you do is you just take your transfer um, stick and you get one of these in every single transfer and you just start rubbing him down onto the glass. It's really easy, very, very user-friendly, and get him down on there. Now, like I mentioned before, this was a limited release item, as are all of the holiday items from Iron Orchid Designs. And so if you want to know when those come out next year, you will want to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I come out with a new video because I do a video for every new release. So we're just gonna get them stuck down on there. Now I could have painted the back on this before I put him on. You could absolutely do that. Um, but for him, I decided I just kind of wanted him on the glass bottle. So I'm working on that. You just kind of rub and then pull up a little bit. And if it doesn't all come up, stick it back down and just rub some more. So there we go. See how easy it is? It just kind of wants to stick. Make sure that you get the edges down good. And just rub until you've got them on. Now this is a little bit of a rounded area up here too, so we wanna go careful for his little hood and his face. And there is our Santa on the bottle. Sorry about the glare. And what you wanna do after you put him on, you just take the backing that you just used and it's called burnishing. You just kinda of wanna 
rub all over just to make sure everything is nice and stuck down and nothing is gonna um, cause any problems. And voila, Santa is on the bottle. And so now I think it'd be really cute to put like, you could put some sprigs. I'm gonna put a bow on here. It's gonna be really cute. I am gonna seal him. And I'm just gonna use a clear top coat and just seal over him. Um, and he'll be good to go. Let's do one more rub on transfer here. On a rounded surface, start in the middle and push it down and then you can go towards the edges. Now, although the, the IOD transfers have pretty much sold out for this year's holiday release, um, I still do have a lot of other items. I have uh, lots of stamps and um, some of the molds are still available. So um, those are all available at dancingdaisydesigns.com. So pop on over there and check it out. Um, you can also find me on Etsy at Dancing Daisy Shop and that would be like one word if you search in Etsy. And then you click on the little part that says find shops with this name and then it'll pop me up. So see how easy transfers are? I just love transfers. So much fun. Get it down and then just start in the corner. Fill it up. Go really slow. That way if something isn't stuck down you can stop and make sure. I'm gonna peel from this side for that. There we go. Oops. See right here is a perfect example. See how that part isn't stuck? All I have to do is just push it back down, rub it, and then I'm gonna peel it up. And look, now it's stuck down. It looks perfect. You can't even tell that there was an issue. And done. Oh, doesn't that look cute? And then we're gonna burnish it. And look at how cute that is. Isn't that pretty? So cute. Now I'm applying the second coat of paint and this just finished drying. Like literally, it's probably still a little wet on that corner. So um, this is a water-based paint and so you really don't wanna overwork it. So you just kinda wanna do like one swipe and done because it will pull the paint back up. See where I went over it there? because it's glass and it's very slick surface. So I don't want to overwork it. So I'm just going to try. Get my second coat on there, let it dry. And then we're going to come back in with the third. <coughs> All right, my paint on my bottles has dried and now I am ready to add my decoupage papers. So I'm gonna be using DIY paint um, top coat. Um, this one's called Big Top and it's just a satin top coat by DIY paint. So I'm gonna be using that as my sealer and I've just got like a large artist brush here that I'm gonna use. So, because the clay paint isn't sealed already, I'm just gonna go over the whole painted area with this and that's gonna seal it before we put our paper on. See how the color changes just a little bit? It's because it has clay in it, so it darkens when you seal it. So we've got that on. Now we're just gonna take our decoupage paper and we're going to center it where we want it. And stick that down. And then I'm just gonna go over it right away with a coat over the top. Just to make sure that it's down nice and good. 
That one is down. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rag and I'm just going to get any areas where my top coat went outside of what I where I wanted it to be just to neaten it up. Keep it looking nice. And this is a water-based paint and top coat. So before it sealed, you could totally, um, if you weren't happy with how it looked, you could just wash it off and then start over. But once it's sealed, it's gonna be on there good. I am gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat. And I will do the same on that one. I will let that dry. Now I wanted to show you, um, I talked about ripping the edges of the paper versus not ripping the edges and the difference in the look that you're gonna get. So here's an example of the edges not ripped. So it looks very um, like less organic and more just like straight clean lines. Um, if you like that look, you could totally do that. I prefer like the, the ripped lines. And as you can see from this one, that it just, it goes on and it looks like it's been there, you know, kind of like a vintage label would look. So that's why I do the ripping of the lines. Now for the ones that I did the um, rub on transfer, I'm gonna seal that as well. And cause I don't know what people are gonna do with these when I sell them. So I'm just gonna kind of try to stay on the transfer for the sealing process. And I like to use the DIY um, satin finish whenever I'm doing uh, glass bottles like this because it, it has the satin finish. So the, the sheen is similar to the glass. Um, if I did a matte sealer, it would be very obvious that it was flat on glass. So um, something to think about. Um, I also have a glass sealer that works awesome with the same type of technique. So that is sealed. I'm just gonna let it dry. And that one is done. All right, I pulled out a couple more colors because I wanna add just a little bit something more to some of these. So this one is called Carnival Red by DIY Paint. And I'm just gonna take the back of a paintbrush and get it wet with the paint. And then I'm just gonna make some dots. I want this to look hand done, so I'm not being too worried about perfect dots. And you could also just like paint like a line border, or if you're like a fancy artist, you could paint like some holly, or um, it would be cute if it said like Noel at the top, that would be really cute. Once all the paint was dry, I decided to come in with some ribbon and twine and just give it a little bit of a boost. It needed something soft and um, pretty on the tops of them. So I went and I added um, ribbon and just different elements and I think it really, really made them look great.
thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot um, with my little small business. If you need any of the paint and products that you saw me use in this video, you can find all of those at dancingdaisydesigns.com. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.